Uh, everybody setting up to be yet another nice day today with a lot of sunshine, but not a lot of trade winds. So here's what's happening on the bigger picture. We have a couple of cold fronts that are passing to the north of us, and as they continue to do so, it's lightening up the pressure gradient. As that slackens, we are seeing the lighter winds. So this cold front pushing through now just to the north of us, and yet another one coming in from the northwest. And as that approaches us, again, the area of high pressure that was delivering us our trade winds has been nudged away. And not only are we seeing the weaker winds because of that, but also our winds shifting a little bit out of the southeast. But luckily, it's not feeling too uncomfortable. Typically, when we have conditions like this, especially in the summertime, it'd be feeling really miserable because it's so muggy. And although we are expecting a slight uptick in humidity, with the cooler temperatures, it's still been feeling really nice. So not going to feel as cold as it would if we had our trade winds here and blowing strong, but again, still very comfortable. Now, in terms of rainfall, not expecting much. We do have a very dry, stable air mass in place, but we are anticipating a few isolated showers at most, mainly for interior and mountain sections, some clouds, and that will definitely favor the afternoon hours as well. But land breezes clear out our skies overnight, so it's pretty much bone dry out there at the moment. Windward and leeward sections this morning waking up to mostly sunny skies. Again, all of our winds under double digits, and that's really what's influencing our weather the most. So be prepared for... Again, potentially some afternoon clouds and showers, but pretty much be prepared for a very similar day to yesterday. And surfers with those onshore winds taking over in the afternoon, the earlier the better. It's glassy out there right now, so take advantage of it. No, also take advantage of the surf. Be careful out there. We do have an incoming large northwest swell. Not seeing these wave heights anywhere near just yet, but this is what the National Weather Service is forecasting by the afternoon. We're looking at 15 to 25 foot faces. West shore is 12 to 20, so high surf warnings posted. South 1 to 3, and our eastern shore is 2 to 4 feet. Not only do we have the high surf warnings, but boaters' small craft advisory also in effect. So for today, light and variable winds. That's going to stick with us through Thursday, and then trade winds start to build back by the second half of Friday. Good news is they'll be here through the weekend, but it looks like yet another cold front may be lightening up our winds at the start of next week once again. All right, Chris, back over to you.